I became involved in working with young people specifically as I retired from teaching. I'm quite passionate about trying to establish what young people want in our area, um, what frustrates them. We are dealing with issues raised by residents in our particular patch that are about people causing damage to their properties or their cars or whatever. I'm very, very conscious of the fact that people automatically assume it's young people who do all the damage. And it's not always the case. It's no good just pointing the blame at people. We have to listen. I think that's the first thing. We have to listen. Basically, Colin's boring. There's just there's nothing to do. There's no other way to describe it. I mean, like, it should be like a wheelie space and that. Where, like, instead of going under Sainsbury's, it's like an underneath place. Because when you go under Sainsbury's where I've just been, you just get kicked out. Just get away. It's hard staying in and not going out, being able to see your mates and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, like, stressful. I know there's a lot of kids, like, just hanging about on the street, isn't there? We're the youth workers from the zone in Nelson, and um, so we've, we've come round different areas where we know there's different kids hanging around, really young people. So connecting with them, seeing what they'd like to see around Colne and what, what they'd be interested in, what activities they'd like to do. Because obviously a lot of the youth centres are closed at the moment, and um, there's nowhere really for them to go. Is there nothing better to do? Uh, not really. There's no, not to do. No. no sports, no football, no, no youth clubs. No, none no. of them. Uh, no. Especially with COVID. No, if you could send a message to people that kind of run activities for youngsters. Uh, probably. What, like, what kind of message would you send to them? Open like, some bike tracks up. Just started opening up a, a youth centre at Wallside in Colne. Um, unfortunately, Covid happened and we've had to put that on hold for now. Uh, but we're out here just looking to engage with young people, seeing what services they want, see what areas they, they like to be in um, and how we can help improve them. It's quite boring, there's like nothing to do around here. Like the council and stuff took all that tree swings down and stuff, so it's just very boring. Yeah, you have to like travel a far way just to try and get to a bike park. There's not much stuff to do for young guns and stuff like that. I think they just need more active places and stuff. In Khan, it would be better if there was more things to do for young people. I just want something where, like, because it's cold now, isn't it? And whilst we're out, it's not fun for us. So just somewhere that's warm that you can go sit down and just speak to people. The thing that bothers me about Khan is there's nothing to do for us, our age. I think there's a line where, where behaviour has become unmanageable. Um, and it starts having an impact on residents in the in the area, maybe. Yeah. I do think there needs to be something in this area, really. You know, and I think uh, possibly they do get a lot of bad press. You hear about the bad things, but you don't always hear the good stuff, do you? The youth clubs were the first thing to go, um, so there's nowhere for them to go on an evening, um, on the weekends. There used to be three or four youth clubs in Colne, they all went just like that. Kids, when we're speaking to them, there's nothing for them to do. They're going in McDonald's, where it's warm, there's free Wi-Fi, and then they overstay the welcome there. We've got to turf them out. And they just go from there, they'll go to Sainsbury's, where it's warm underneath, or they'll go, because it's used for staff, and you know, that's, there's no, nothing for them to do. That's a strong message that we get. What we're finding, certainly on uh, the evenings, Thursday, Fridays, Saturday in particular, and the level of youth congregating. We tend to spend most of our time, certainly on those Friday and Saturday evenings, almost um, moving children on in, in, in ways and, and moving them onto someone else's problem, which is not always the solution that we need. We noticed something happened after the first lockdown. And we started getting calls from quite distressed residents. And they were telling us about things that were really unexpected in their neighborhood. And the first thing that I did was call the police because I thought the police would be able to solve it. And then as more and more calls came in, it became apparent the police couldn't solve it and it was something that was deeper. So I'm Claire Bennett and I'm chair of Pendle Youth Forum. Uh, it's a forum of different organisations, statutory and voluntary, that come together in the interest of young people in Pendle. Um, we've been going for many, many years and the remit of that group has changed as the issues with young people have changed. And of more recent years, it's very been much about uh, what we, can we do collectively 
to address the fact that funding is being cut in, in many directions and issues are increasing for young people. I'm from in situ. Uh, in situ we're an arts organisation based in Pendle. Um, in situ is also part of Pendle Youth Forum. So we've been involved in supporting work with young people in and around the area for probably the last sort of six, seven years. More recently, Pendle Youth Forum, because it sort of looks at various different hotspots within the area, we were looking to try and see how we could support working with young people in Colne. And so we started supporting the detached work on a Friday night with the uh, youth work team. The biggest thing was like hearing a lot of the stuff coming through, things like Colne Talk, and feeling like that the young people's sort of point of view and their voice wasn't really coming through enough. So for us, working creatively, working with artists, filmmakers, we feel like, you know, there's a way that we could contribute to coming up with something that could do that, just to see what that might start to look like as a as a way of representing young people's voice and thoughts within all this. I got involved as part of um, our youth offer, which we were trying to start up with partners through Pendle Youth Forum, got involved with in situ and children and family wellbeing services and in situ we're already developing this film and we thought we would like to get involved with it and see what we can offer as part of it. We were really, really keen with the project that we wanted to make sure that it represented the voices and the experiences of young people in Colne. So I was brought in to really try and just unpick that, get to know the young people and hopefully do some kind of creative activity with them. So over the past couple of weeks we've worked on all kinds of different things. We've been using bits of open source technology to create little gifts. Uh, we've also done bits of collaging and more sort of hands-on work and been doing little bits of filming as well. I think the artwork has really, really engaged them by doing glitching, by giving them technology to use and all the different aspects over the space of the weeks. I think from the, the filming perspective as well, they've been able to have a voice. So it's been excellent. It's been really good. You can't go anywhere without being discriminated. If we're on our bikes just together, we can't just have fun. Someone will put some on or gang of bikers doing this, that and the other when we're not even doing our bad. Open a youth club for winter, bad weather. Something for, open something for us to do, where we can't just get kicked out of, moved on, so we can't do all. And even when we are up to no good, we're only doing that because we've got no to do. We're getting a buzz out of it, but we could get a buzz out of something else if we had something to yeah. do. When it's raining, we could have a youth club to go to. And it's important we engage young people, and part of that process has been capturing the voice of young people. See, what are the issues? What can we do about it? Let's look at your actions, there are consequences, but we can make amends and we can learn from it and move forward. It was really good to get uh, a local PC down and the local councillor so they can hear from the horse's mouth, if you like, from the young people what they want and what their issues are. This is an opportunity for them to speak out and for us to kind of work that agenda with them and, and work out what they want. Well, welcome to the group. This group's for the young people to meet uh, representatives from the council and the police. There's been issues in Cone that we know. Uh, these young people have got some fantastic ideas how to make things better. So we're hoping we're going to share some of that on camera with the uh, councillors and the police. I don't know you've had some adverse publicity that you thought some of it's fair and some of it's not. Am I right? You said some yeah. things were deserved. But here's a chance now for these guys to listen to that and we can present it to people who can hopefully change Cone and get something happening that keeps you off the streets and doing positive activities. I'm Margaret and I'm a councillor for Pendleborough Council. I must say that it's brilliant that you've turned up tonight because you knew that the police were coming and that I was coming and we're here to listen to your ideas, to talk to you. So it's about you telling me what it is you'd like to do and what's going to stop you from doing negative things. Okay, is that fair enough? Yeah. Obviously my job's to chase these boys around calling all day and night and catch them all the time and you know but also to to help you i hope we do help you sometimes and uh guide you and show you the right way i'm involved with this because i want to know what you young people want locally i can come at it from a sports angle football angle i know you're all mad burnley fans you've already mentioned that so it's about what we can bring as a club as well to get you engaged and get you get you involved in some positive stuff and obviously to hear where you see a lack of that provision, where you see that there's not enough youth provision or there's not enough youth clubs and there's no space for you. We're here to hear what's going on. I would like a youth club in Colm, because <laughs> then it'll get us off the streets. Um, when you say youth club, are you talking 
your, your traditional youth club with pool tables and yeah, yeah, yeah. your own little space where you can chill out. Yeah. Is that what you're missing out on? Yeah. Should it be free at the point of entry so everything's free? A traditional youth club where you don't have to pay anything. Maybe just like a pay to enter and that's yeah. it. You right. pay a few quid to get in and then you can do everything that's in there. Yeah. Right. So you mentioned COVID before yeah. and you said that a lot of places are closed. So where does that leave you? What are you kind of doing in the evening with yourselves? Be honest, what are you doing? Yeah. Just try to find stuff to fill in the time because we want to be out with our mates but then we don't know what to do when we're out with our mates. Well, we're not meant to be out in groups but I don't see how anybody can be in a house for months on without going out like where they're around like bad stuff. Do you think that sometimes if something goes wrong, something happens, that people automatically assume it's young people that have done it. Yeah. Like, I remember the kids in Colm, but once someone like, say, we got put on Colm talk for that shop window. Mm. Now, if something happens now, window got smashed, oh, it'll be the same kids yeah. that did yeah. the other shop. Yeah. And even say, we went to KFC to get something to eat. Like, and there's like four of us. Yeah, we went to KFC the other day and they said, you're not allowed in, the window's been smashed. When we, when we didn't even know about it, like we had no knowledge about it at all. And then, and then people would just look at you, you just stood outside KFC to look at you and think, oh, look at them, the reason why this is happening is... I'll just... And I was like, oh, but the parents don't care about them, even though it's All not... we did was to come out, get some food, chill. Just not doing all bad, I don't get... Yeah, well, you've got to admit, sometimes we are, though. Yeah, yeah obviously. But that's just a track here our board and which works for a bit and it just gets yeah, boring get done. like you said that's really mature you that way you're saying sometimes you do deserve that bad, bad press don't you yeah. yeah and what you sometimes your actions like this is really positive um but when the negative actions it really impacts on your parents isn't it? Yeah. and Colm. i mean i think people are listening to what you want and are working really hard to make that happen the youth have a say in like we've like have a say in the what's uh, youth club, then it becomes personalised. So you might think, well, I put effort into making it, so why don't I stay in it? Yeah, and you've made the first effort in that process because you're here tonight. You're actually saying this is what we want, and we're actually we're prepared to make it happen. Now that to me is brilliant, absolutely fantastic, and it makes me want to go and work harder to make sure that you get what you need um, but we need that payback and i need to be able to as a councillor shout out about what's going on and what these young people are doing well if you get us something to do we'll obviously stop doing what we're doing but we only do that when we are bored so right. people are complaining that oh they're going out and doing stuff bad but no one's giving us out to do. No, it's not like we're messing about every time we're bored. No. It's just like, say, I don't know, it's just some, when something happens, it happens. We don't go looking for trouble when we're bored. It's just, I don't know, it just leads to stuff when you're bored, really. Yeah. Since you've called our parents, we haven't done all. Well, I really appreciate that yeah. because that shows you that you, you are responsible and you, if I come and speak to you and appeal to you, you, you you listen, don't you? If Speaking you about. started speaking to us being like rude and that, I'd probably go out and just do it again. Yeah. yeah. Colm's a really nice place, and in, in I don't know, 10 years' time, you're going to be, you, you buy a house in Colm, and you'll see it all again. It's all a massive cycle, and the kids will be doing something. You'll say, I remember when I was like that, and, and Dave Cleal um, came around and told my parents, and, and I guarantee you that will happen to all of you. Yeah, and then maybe we could be sat here with kids. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Trying to help them out because we know what it's like. You know, life is about the kind of skills that I'm seeing in this room tonight. Young people who are coming along, who are talking in such an adult, mature manner. And you can see the future and you're going to make it happen. You've got to do. It, it takes some bottle sitting in front of adults saying, yeah, yeah. I were wrong. Good luck. I messed up, so I've, I've, I've nothing but... Respect for you, honestly. Mm -hmm. If you're ever stuck, there's adults you can talk to. It's not just youth workers and artists. You can talk to Dave, you can talk to counsellors. 
they're just people that work in your communities. The titles are titles, but end of the day, if you could talk to Dave, you've got an issue, you'd much rather better off talking about it than not talking about it, you know what I mean? Get it off your chest, a problem shared is a problem halved. But it's been fantastic, we'll work on it. Uh, I'm sure you'll see these people again, you know what I mean? But well done, you guys. So I think these guys have been brilliant. I think awesome I'm time. going to give you all a clap anyway. Yeah, well done. <laughs>